In this demonstration, we're going to illustrate a basic business process such as onboarding a new customer while taking advantage of Business Central, Microsoft Outlook, and some other cloud solutions from Microsoft such as Power Automate, Microsoft Teams, and Power Virtual Agent. Now this scenario does incorporate three unique personas. I'm going to have Alan, who receives a notification there's a new customer and interacts with an automated bot or agent. There's going to be the administrator who is notified or say a supervisor or manager that's notified via Microsoft Teams and Outlook. And then I'm going to have the agent, Alan, go ahead and confirm that customer has been created. And then the last persona will be the customer who receives a welcome email. So let's take a look at all of this technology and how we can apply it to a very common process such as onboarding a customer. So we're gonna create a new customer. There'll be a request to approve that customer. Then that customer will be automatically created in Business Central and then the recipient receives a, a welcome email. So I'm gonna begin by creating a new customer. And I'm using Power Virtual Agent that will be embedded inside of Microsoft Teams. So here you can see I'm a team member or I, I'm, I'm logged in as uh, Alan. Here you can see my persona in the top right corner. Uh, I receive an email message uh, that there's a new customer who needs to be added to Business Central. Now while I can always open up Business Central and add the customer, the agent is maybe involved with currently performing another task uh, and it's just easier. So you can see here the in the body here, it says I need to add data to Business Central and I select enter. Now the virtual agent begins to communicate with the agent to guide through the process. And so I first am asked, do I want to add a customer or a vendor? So Alan decides to add the customer. Now type in a response, so the customer is Fabricam. I select enter. Now the virtual agent or the bot says what's the address. So I type in the address and select enter. What's the city? And I select enter. The state, I select enter. Now the virtual agent thanks Alan for the, the data so far and then asks once more, you know, who is the primary contact? So I'll respond there with Alicia Thomber. And then what is Alicia's email address? So again, all of this is in a matter of a few moments, having a dialogue between an agent who happens to be embedded inside of Microsoft Teams. Now I need to go ahead and approve that via say a manager. So there's this request for approval. And I can do this one of two ways. I can approve it within Outlook or within Microsoft Teams. Here you can see the, per, the workflow process sends a notification via Teams. So I can certainly approve it over here. Or if I were to switch and just kind of open up Outlook, you'll see I get at the same time a uh, email that says that there's been a new request for approval. So I'll go ahead and select, I'll approve here. Hey, they've met the conditions. We've run a credit report, looks good and I go ahead and submit that. And if I return back to Teams, you can see that that has been approved. So again, it's really up to the organization as to where that approval will take place. Now here's where the automation then continues down the process. So we've entered in via the bot, it's been approved. How is this customer created inside of Business Central? Well, again, through the technologies behind the scenes, if I open up the customer, to confirm that, you can see that Fabricam and Alicia Thomber has been added as that customer. We've got her email address, the contact name, and then the customer, their address as it was entered through that dialog. And then the last step is that the customer receives the welcome email. And again, I'll use Outlook to receive that. So here you can see in the top right corner as part of that onboarding process, Alicia Thomber gets an email message from us welcoming, welcoming him to Kronos and then just again maybe some ideas around a customer portal, here's how you access all your benefits 
any terms and conditions and say payment terms. So again, all of this was part of that approval process that it triggered based on that dialogue with the virtual agent. So again, just an idea around how we can tackle a very common process such as customer onboarding by allowing the sales rep to create a new customer just through dialogue with an agent in Microsoft Teams. The manager or administrator approved it, sales rep receives confirmation, and then the customer receives a welcome email. Clearly the benefits are here that we're automating a process and I spend less time on data entry and in increasing our productivity.